Okay, so now we're going to talk about what to do with the circle um, equation that's not in standard form. So obviously when it's in standard form, we know that the equation is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared, where h and k are the center point and r is the radius. Okay, so that's what we really want um, in order to be able to graph our circle is to get it in what we consider standard form or sometimes people will say an HK form or vertex form. Those will be the other terms that you might hear. Okay, so in order to do that, we're going to have to do something that's called completing the square. So we're going to complete the square. Okay, and that's when you take a equation that's not a perfect square and you make it a perfect square so that you can figure out where the center is okay so we're going to rewrite this equation right here y squared i'm just rewriting it as it's written plus 4x minus 20 minus 2y equals x squared okay now the first step is that i'm going to get variables right on one side and constants on the other okay and I want to get my variables in descending order, okay? Because I'm trying to get here. So I'm going to say, oop, this is a negative x squared. So I'm going to say x squared goes first. So that becomes positive x squared plus 4x, okay? Now I'm going to say plus, and I'm going to put an empty box there, okay? Because that's what I'm going to fill in to complete the square. And then the next thing I'm going to say is plus y squared right minus 2y and then i'm going to put plus and another empty box because i want to fill in something there that will create the perfect square and then i'm going to say all of that equals 20. okay so i rearrange the order here i move negative x squared to this side of the equality and i move negative 20 to that side of the equality okay so that was my first step and i'm just trying to get everything in the order that i want okay now, you may remember that the addition property of equality says that if I'm going to add these two things over here, what must I also do over here? Add them over here. So I'm going to have two more boxes over here as well. Okay, so that keeps everything balanced. And remember, we have to keep everything balanced in order um, to do that. Yes? Okay. Now, the second thing I need to do is fill in my squares, my empty boxes, right? And I'm going to do that by taking b divided by 2 and squaring it, okay? Now, what's b? Well, we're going to find b by using that standard form of the quadratic. Remember, ax squared plus bx plus c. So B is going to be the linear term for both X and for Y, okay? So my B term for this trinomial will be 4, and my B term for this trinomial will be what? Negative 2. Yeah, I need to make it a trinomial so that I can factor it, okay? Watch me go through this first one, and then when we do the second one, it'll, we, you can, we can stop. All right, so now that I have b as 4, okay, if I say b divided by 2, 4 divided by 2 is what? 4 divided by 2 is 2, and if I square it, it becomes 4. So guess what goes there? 4, okay? Now, since I put 4 here, where do I, what do I have to do over here? I have to put 4 there too, okay? Now I'm going to go to this one, okay? negative 2. So I'll say negative 2 divided by 2 squared. So negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1, and negative 1 squared is 1. And since I put 1 here, I have to go over here and say what? 1. Okay? So now I'm just going to rewrite what I have. Okay? So now I have x squared plus 4x plus 4 plus y squared minus 2y plus 1 
equals, and I can go ahead and add, 20 plus 4 is 24 plus 1 is 25. Okay? Now, my next step is going to be, so I have one step, two step, now I'm on my third step. My next step is going to be factor each trinomial. Okay? Now, what was a trinomial again? Anybody remember? That's three terms, right? Okay, so I'm going to factor each trinomial. So I'm going to factor this one, and then I'm going to factor this one. Okay, now I'm looking to put this trinomial into what form? I want to get it back to this right here, don't I? Yeah, so how can I do that? So if I look at this, hopefully some of you will miss, uh, remember your special products x squared plus 4x plus 4, what does that factor into? No. x plus 2 squared, that's right, x plus 2 squared. Okay? We're looking for factors of 4 that add up to 4, right? So the factors of 4 are only 4 and 1, right? And 2 and 2. So which of those pairs adds up to 4? 2 and 2. Okay, so x plus 2 squared. Good. Now we want to do the same thing for the y. We're looking for factors of 1 that will sum negative 2. Okay. What will that give us? Good news is factors of 1 are only 1 and 1. Right. So how can I get them to sum negative 2? Make it negative 1. So that's y minus 1 squared. Okay. And that equals what? 25. Okay, now what do I have? Does that look a little bit more like the equation I wanted? Yes. So, if I ask you at this point, what's the center of the circle? What would you tell me? Negative 2 and 1. Good. And what's the radius of this circle? 5. Very good. So, now you can go up here and you can actually graph the circle. So, I could say, okay, negative 2 and 1 is my center, and my radius is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then I can draw my circle from there using a compass so that it will be a nice and pretty circle. Okay? And that's how you complete the square.